Hi everyone, so we're going over the lab 1.1 data analytics and financial accounting and what this is really designed to do is connect to the power of analytics with accounting, business, financial statement analysis. So if you go into the book and just it says in uh, part 12 it says click here. So what you do is I'm just going to start, I just did this, do it again. So you click here, you have to be logged in to your Gmail because this is going to go into Google Drive. It's using Google Sheets. So once you click on that, you have to be logged in first. You arrive to this. <clears throat> this is the correct file, but it's view only. So what you're going to do is file, make a copy. It gives you the name. It's going to save it on your Google Drive, right? Okay, now you have your copy. It's going to take a minute to fully save it. Okay, so this is actually... Now you have the file, now you can change it. So <clears throat> what we're doing in this piece is just we're trying to see the idea is that we have XBRL tags, which is not too different from um, HTML tags. And what we're, what we're seeing here is that, uh, you know, we can pull in financials, financial data based on uh, the ticker, the most recent year um, shows us the year that we can pull in and then how far to round it. So these are actual financial statement data, and this form, XBRL Fact, simply pulls that data in. So it just we're plugged into the database. Um, and what it shows you here, you want to get you want to look around and just get familiar with like, oh wait, this is revenue for Apple, and the tag is sales revenue net. And you're getting familiar with what is uh, a tag, which is a revenue or a gross profit or something like that. And then we can calculate from that a profit margin. And our goal here is to see the profit mark, whether the Apple profit margin is decreasing or increasing. And we can see that right here in the computation. And you, and the, the goal here, what the lab asks you to do is think about, oh, what other ratios could you compute and what other tags could you check out? And you could go to XBRL taxonomy and find out, <clears throat> open up the XBRL taxonomy. I think it's actually also in the lab where you go through and go to the XBRL taxonomy, xbrlview.fastbeat.org, and you open up the 2016-0131. And that basically, you know, basically a little bit of overview. What is that? It's the dictionary of how to pull all the accounting data from the SEC database. And that's exactly what you can do. Once you pull it in, it starts showing you the actual tags. You can find a different tag here, say, for cash flow from operations. And once you find the correct tag, it's going to pull that number in as well. And, and that's how you you can essentially start doing your own research with this.